Richard was talking about reckless stupidity. At that South Carolina rally, Donald Trump also started to propose giving countries foreign aid as a loan before losing his train of thought and drifting into a story about golf. What? Loan them the money. If they can make it, they pay us back. If they can't make it, they don't have to pay us back. Loan them the money. Put it as a form of a loan. Why should you just hand it over to them? Do it as a form of a loan. I do that with athletes. They can't quite, you know, like a professional golfer who I think is very good. They don't have any money, but they have a lot of talent. I'll say, here's the deal. I did it with a number of people. Here's the deal, what I want to do. Professional golfer, I play golf. I play very nice. Did you see the picture of me, the horrible picture with the stomach out to here? That was... So what I do is I'm putting up today a picture of me actually, what I actually look like, hitting a ball, smashing the frickin' ball. And you'll see quite... I wouldn't say slim. I wouldn't say slim, but not bad. But the ball does go far. I would say it goes about nine times further then Biden can hit it nine times. Yeah. So th that, there, yeah. there you go. We were. It's actually not that good. He picks Reverend, it up and he puts Reverend it all Al. in the hole. Yeah, he's, yeah, we've played with him before. He, <laughs> Reverend Al, so um, he's really talking bad. about national security, wandered into this story about golf, then wandered into a story about his fat Elvis picture, you know, fat Elvis playing golf, and then said that he's got another picture where he doesn't, um, well, yeah, where he says he doesn't look so bad. Uh, so this is the meandering, wandering mind of a man who right now is encouraging the House GOP to um, betray our ally and help Vladimir Putin. And Republicans, you know, things have gotten so much worse because at least when he was president, Republicans stood up and actually fought uh, to, to, to push back on Vladimir Putin. No more. Well, we watch in, in, in that speech, and I'm being kind to call it a speech, uh, him go from loaning money to uh, countries that can't pay their debt to how he loaned money to athletes who uh, no one can find out who they are, to him denying that he was uh, <coughs> Fat Albert at one point, that he has a slim photo that we can't find, and then he goes back to foreign affairs, and they wonder how old and out of touch Joe Biden is. I mean, just look at those Thank four you. minutes, and you would start saying, uh, is this guy capable of being president? I mean, to compare loaning money to uh, countries that uh, maybe need some foreign aid to you loaning money to unnamed, probably non-existent athletes is not somebody that you would want sitting in the Oval Office. It goes without saying, John, nothing in that story is true. None of those things happened. The yeah. conversation with the foreign leader didn't loan money to a PGA player, famously. Don't need money. Um, and don't also, forget the waistline. Well, that, that, really what that, and Joe and Mika get this, Really, what's at the heart of that is he wanted to correct the record of oh, a yeah. picture that's living somewhere in his head. So, that's so all, much. That's all that was about. <laughs> that's always the explanation. But the more serious point to, to you and, and to Richard is about how we treat our allies. And if do you have to pay mm -hmm. protection money now to the United States? And if you don't pay what Donald Trump, Trump deems appropriate, is he going to stand back and let Russian tanks roll into your country? Yeah, I mean, what the only thing that was real about that speech was the applause from the audience when he talked about, hey, we shouldn't just give the money away. It should be a loan. And I, I think there is a sense here, and Richard, get your take, and Peter Baker wrote about this in the New York Times today, about how America's, if we're Republicans, or at least the MAGA Republicans, they don't view the world the same way that the Republicans of old used to or Democrats do now. They don't think it should be the United States' responsibility to come to the aid of necessarily anybody else. And we're seeing that play out in Congress right now where we're not going to follow through on our commitment potentially to Ukraine. Um, we are seeing this with Trump threatening to, to, to basically blow up NATO, pull the U.S. out or at least uh, extort the other members there to, to enrich itself. Um, and then we have Vladimir Putin suddenly with momentum uh, and even suggesting yesterday that he actually he would prefer Joe Biden to be yeah. president rather than Donald Trump, which another thing we can say safely say is not true.